Miss Family here with your STEAM challenge. I know normally I say STEM challenge, but we're saying our, it's a STEAM challenge today. We're adding in a letter A for the art component. So yes, it's still science. Um, it's still um, technology from the point of I, you're using technology to watch how to make it. Then we have our engineering process. Um, and you can know you can always tweak it um, and then we're adding in the A today the art component and then the math so it has all of them in there today we are making um, spinners paper spinners you need paper here's my scrap paper from the two holes I made the two circles I made you will also need some glue scissors markers okay here's my markers markers and some sort of twine or like rope it needs to be thin you can use um thread might be too thin but some sort of like roping twine um to do the spinner part of it so i'm gonna explain what i did and then i'm gonna let you go and try it um and i'm gonna tell you kind of a little hint about what might make your spinner work better than mine. If I had time, I would go back and tweak it um, and make it work a little bit better, but you'll get the idea from it. So, first things first is on paper, doesn't matter what kind of paper, can even be construction paper, you wanna draw two circles. Now you can always get like the bottom of a cup, okay, and put it on the paper and trace it if you want your circles. I freehanded my circles, um, but you can always take the bottom of a cup and trace it or find something and trace it. So you need two, two circles, okay? This is what they turned out to be. Here's one, here's my other circle. What I did is I colored them. I designed them. I did a different design on each side. So, and then I cut them both out. So I traced them, I colored them, I cut them out. Then I took the circle and I found a thin piece of cardboard. It's hard to see, um, but the cardboard is between them. I found cardboard. I actually used the back of a notebook um, because it was a little thinner than the cardboard I had in the garage. The cardboard I had in the garage was super thick and I was worried that I wouldn't be able to get to my holes through the middle. So I just grabbed a notebook and I used the back of it. Remember, always ask before you go and take something and do it. So I used the back of a cardboard or of a notebook and I took one of my circles, paper circles, and I traced it, okay, on the cardboard. Then I cut out the cardboard. So now I have three circles, two paper and one cardboard. Then I took my glue and I glued the paper to the, each side of the cardboard. So one circle on one side of the cardboard, another circle on the other, okay? And I made sure I actually had to, you can kind of see it, I had to use some tape a little bit. Um, because this guy right here, there was a lot of marker on it and it wanted to keep folding up. So I reinforced it with some tape. So now I had my cardboard circle, okay, minus the string. This part you might need some help with. Um, I took scissors, and please ask for help. I don't want anyone hurting themselves. And I took the point of the scissor and I pushed down on it and I made a hole. Like I kind of just wiggled it around, and then I picked it up a little bit and I finished the hole. Please ask for help. Then I just twisted my scissor a little bit to get a little bit bigger of a hole so my twine could fit. Then I made sure there was enough space and I did another hole. You don't want to do it directly next to it, otherwise you're gonna have one giant hole and it's not gonna work. So make sure there's enough space, okay, between the, the two holes. So you need two. A total of two holes right next to each other. Okay, then I took my twine and I cut a piece about this long. Okay, that was too short. The longer the twine, now you don't want a piece so wide that you can't spin your twinner. Twinner, ha, huh, it's combined twine and spinner that you can't spin your spinner. Okay, otherwise it won't work, but you do want a little bit longer of a piece than, than this, okay? So, pull it out, okay? Then you're gonna take one end of it, 
and you're gonna feed it through. And then it's gonna come out this side and then you're gonna feed it through. Then you'll have something like this. Oopsies. Okay, so the twine made like a little loop there and you'll have the two ends out here. You want to tie the two ends together. So now you have one giant loop. And now your spinner's ready once you tie it. So you can see, am I, okay, now I have the two ends. Now what I do is I twirl it around. That is how I'm tightening the cord, the cord or the twine or the rope, whatever you're using. And then I pull it and it spins. Now this is where I said that you want a little bit longer of a rope in the middle because it doesn't spin that long. It just kind of spun once this way and once that way and then it was done. The longer, the more rope you have wrapped up. Okay, the longer it'll spin. So, kind of a fun little project. Um, also, my holes could be just a little closer, not much, okay? But not much, otherwise, like I said, you'll do a giant hole. So I played it safe and wanted them far apart just because I didn't want a giant hole. But the, ba the thing that I would do in the engineering part of it to tweak this is I would do another piece of string that's longer. And so I had more of a spin for it to spin instead of, there it goes. Crap. And then it spins. It's pretty cool. I've never made one of these. And then there's that side. So something that I kind of just discovered just talking to you guys on here is actually my spinner works better with a shorter rope. Hmm. So my tweaking, maybe what would have happened is I would have done a longer rope. So this is kind of something that's interesting because we it's trial and error. You try it, may not work how you thought it was gonna work, and then you try something else. So I, this is a learning, a learning process, a learning tip. I was gonna do a longer rope, thinking that longer is what I needed. And then I probably would have tried it and been like, okay, that didn't work very well. And then I was like, all right, well, I've tried this length, I've tried longer. Now let me try shorter. So all I did was shorten up on my rope right here instead of doing it at the end. And I'm spinning it this way and getting the rope really tight. And it actually worked a lot better that way. So if you're watching this video all the way through, shorter is better. But you might discover that on your own. Okay, so fun little steam project, steam challenge for today. Um, have fun with it. Uh, if you don't get to it today, that's okay. You can always do it another day. But these are your homemade spinners. So that is it for today, Smarties. Have a wonderful day. Remember to smile um, and get outside and play. I will see you tomorrow for our morning meeting. Bye for now.